still in the lineup with Michael February in motion off the car of the Panda. William Cardoso battles once again with Michael Rodriguez as he's got a ton of speed to burn. Loses the float and goes straight down. William trying to get a jump start. His heat just getting underway. And yet another battle with Rodriguez. 7-6-7 seven, seven, and a 7-0-7 seven, seven to move on to the round of 16 and take out one of the favorites at Jay Bay. Michael Rodriguez speeding. Lying up the lip line there with a beautiful forehand carve. Whips that one back into the pocket a bit more. You check button very, very quickly. We also have Rodriguez, his opening wave. Still no stickers on the nose of that board, Joe. As Rodriguez comes flying down the line, beautiful, long, deep bottom turn into a nice maneuver. Getting a little bit of drift as well. It's looking sharp, I like it. So February, even though he was slowing down the tempo, still kept a body length in front of Toledo. There's the Panda. Full redirect with that car. Tight power jam in the pocket. Drives through another big section. Whips one off the lip, more turns for William, oh. buries the rail, but can't finish. What a, this man displaces, one of the more powerful guys on tour. And again, this was that way we're talking about. Every turn made sense all the way through, and then just pushed a little bit too hard, buried that inside rail and goes down, so unfortunate there for Cardosa. Let's have a look and see what happened here. There is. A thing of overpowering a wave when your name is William Cardosa. And I think that's kind of what he did, that poor wave. What did... If you're able to kind of tune in to what's going on in the water, have you noticed anything that we could be shape, tuning into the shaping room? Yeah, I mean, I'm actually really stoked. The board seems to be going pretty well right now. Mikey Febbs is out there. He's riding the same board that Zeke was riding, our new model, the Happy. Uh, a lot of people riding that board here. It's kind of got the right entry rocker for that. Get elongated, you know, down the line, but tight turns in the pocket. So I kind of had this contest in mind for a lot of the year working on boards. Rolling into this one. It's William Cardoso just checking it out quickly, and he's out. 487 came through on his last number. Shannon Hughes is with Ace Bucking. Well, Ace Bucking, congratulations for taking the win. Two quick sevens to start off with, and then it seems to go a bit slow. What was going on out there? Yeah, um, you know, I managed to kind of show some urgency at the start of the heat, and. It's always nice when you can kind of build a good total that early in the heat. Um, would have been good to have a bit of a shootout towards the end, but um, yeah, super exciting. Well, Mikey Peb just got an insane barrel behind us. 33rds with it, being exhausted with the travel, and now clicking into gear, getting past Connor. This is what happened during the interview pots. Yeah, Michael Rodriguez on a smaller inside wave. You can tell he's looking for something special. Kick stall, pulls in. Has the control to maintain that certain speed inside the tube. Finished with a couple of big maneuvers. And right out of it. And uh, guess what, Joe? Five points for that wave. No, sorry. Score's coming through right now for it. But beautiful surfing from Rodriguez. Looking more like a 6-6-5. Six, six, but how's that kick stall into the barrel? Unbelievable stuff there from Rodriguez, and then that ability to slow down. I mean, the judges prefer it when you're driving through the section and getting those nice long barrels, but that's just showing complete control. Fingers crossed for a great finish next week because it is pumping right out front. William Cardoso, big vertical hack right through that whitewater. Sit on that rail, nice easy pace, roundhouse cutback. As he'll just fade once again into the pocket. Quick fade and cut back, and now you'll wait for this thing to double up. Rodriguez in motion. Just came off the 6-3-3. That wave where you got that nice tube ride through the midsection. This thing's starting to grow in size. Layback gash right in the pocket there. Setup work down the line. There's oh. another layback. He draws right into the heart of the wave, and he's able to hang on to that maneuver. Non-stop <laughs> perfection here at Jeffries Bay. Right back out there, getting clipped on the takeoff was William Cardoso. 
into the pit and out with Michael Rodriguez. Back into the barrel again. Oh, Emron will get taken down on that bonus section. Michelle Perez, Ricardo Christie just trying to pace their energy in the Red Bull athlete zone, watching perfect waves go by. William Cardoso looking for a 7 2 3. On the windup, <laughs> beautiful carve on the open face. Back to the left, drills it in front of Emrod. Clean wrapping turn so far, solid for the Panda. Wave staying clean. Curve of the face changing just a bit, but still has power to flex the finish. Wow, Lay he needed that. Hack to finish, hitting it nice and early pots. They try to force the score. Rodriguez could be in trouble now. I love the way he takes his time, builds up the speed right there, a little bit of a pause. Okay, what am I gonna do? I am actually gonna rip right into it. Big snap from Cardoso through the lip again. And the water that is moving up into the heavens is unbelievable from Cardoso. Almost lost it right there, comes through the inside. He needs to finish strong. Setting it up, take your time and nail it sharp. Beautiful insert, uh, maneuver there from Cardosa. And that is going to be a cracker score. 7.23, Joe. I'm feeling it, Potts, especially with a finish like that. We don't see a lot of that kind of finish, do we? We see a lot of those floater maneuvers. Seven on the clock. Priority with Michael Rodriguez. He'll take this win. Floats the first section. Sets the rail. Nice sweeping down car. Beautiful lip line to hit, cracks it off the top, still with some rhythm for the layback, he'll get hung up. And can't stay on his feet. Well, nothing changed for Michael Rodriguez just yet, still waiting for the score. Cardoso getting this wave, the answer again. Clean front side car, digs in with that forehand hook. The Panda drills it under the lip. Nice pace off the bottom again into a beautiful rapid cutback. Hits the lip line for a lengthy float. Let's have a look at William Cardoso's way first. He's looking for a 5.0. A couple of nice turns right there. Wave starting to double up through the inside. Showing some variety with a the layback snap. Then carves it all the way back into the pocket. Wave starts to get super hollow, and there's that lip line float with a bit of drama at the end and comes out nice and clean. Cardoso looking sharp. And you know what? He's looking very, very poised and controlled. After hearing that last score, he looked a little bit frustrated, but he's reeled that back in, and there it is. We're closing out the all-Brazilian matchup. 15 seconds. Cardoso got the score in the lead change. So Emrod trying to force it. On his last effort, had the lead for the majority of the heat, left chasing a 7-7. And now William takes a 2-1 lead in one-on-one yep. -on -one heats over Emron and moves on to the round of 16. Yeah, you know what? They got the score wrong, but they got the, the result right, I think. Cardoso definitely the standout in that heat.